This is a study in the metastatic hormone sensitive setting of prostate cancer. And it's asking the question of whether enzalutamide, which we know improves the survival of men with castration resistant disease, to see if it actually is more effective when we give it starting hormonal therapy, testosterone suppression. We also know that in this hormone sensitive setting, patients with a high volume of disease also benefit from getting docetaxel. That result came out from the chartered study not too, so, not too long after we actually wrote and designed and activated the ENZAMET study. So we quickly activated an amendment that allowed patients to get docetaxel based on physician and patient choice. So the patients could either get testosterone suppression with a standard non-steroidal as an active control, bicolutamide, nilutamide or flutamide, or enzalutamide, and then they were stratified by whether they got docetaxel. And what happens about what ultimately happened is about 50% of the patients got docetaxel and that was mostly in the patients who have a high volume of disease and about 50% of the patients didn't. We also noted that about 50% of the patients had low volume disease and less of them got docetaxel and mo half of them obviously got enzalutamide and half got the non steroidal the standard anti-androgen. And what we saw is that enzalutamide prolonged the overall survival in both patients with a high volume and a low volume of disease. And we saw also that it, patients had a longer time to progression. Then when we drilled into the data, we found something which was a little bit um, intriguing and requires us to do more work. The study was very positive such that it, it we get the readout early from the interim analysis and we need longer follow-up. But what we see is that although early enzalutamide prolonged the time to progression of those who got docetaxel, we don't see a big treatment effect yet, hopefully soon with longer follow-up, in those who had prior docetaxel. So it's possible that you can do sequential therapy as long as they get docetaxel and a drug like enzalutamide at some stage. On the other hand, patients who did not get docetaxel had a clear improvement in time to progression and a significant improvement in overall survival, a very clear treatment effect.